Hi guys, today we'll be talking about correcting altitudes, uh, the sextant altitudes of the sun, star and planets to obtain the true altitude. Alright, so we'll take different three different examples. We'll take an example of the sun, the star and a planet and uh, you any question can be solved using the methods uh, that we explain here. Alright, so I'll start with the sun where the true altitude uh, needs to be derived. Uh, for the sextant altitude of 38 degrees 29.2 minutes uh, as given in the question here and then we have the date for 16th of June 2004 uh, it's the upper limb of the Sun this is important when it comes to Sun the height of I is 10 meters and the index error is one minute of the arc right so let's start with the question here so what we do is firstly write down the sextant altitude as given to us in the question uh, the index error given to us is of the arc when it's of the arc you add the index error it's a minute so you just add it to the minute not to the degrees remember the degrees remains unchanged if it was on the arc you would subtract it but of the arc you add it so once you add it what you get is the observed altitude in this case the observed altitude is 38 degrees 30.2 the next thing you do is apply the height of i correction for 10 meters as given to us in the question so let's go and see where we can get the height of i correction for so for 10 meters we go to the height of i table this table is normally given on the very first page of the almanac um, and you can see that on the extreme um, right side of the table is the dip table the dip is also the height of i table all right so the dip table is also the height of i table and if you see the first column here the height of i is given in meters the this is meters and the height of i here is in feet the middle column is the correction of course so if you go in for 10 meters i'll zoom in so if you go and see the 10 meters of height of i lies somewhere between 9.9 .9 and 10.3 so no interpolation is required you straight away pick up the correction which is minus 5.6 in this case i'll zoom out again and then we can go out and apply the same correction here so that's what i've done here minus 5.6 is the correction right and that gives us the apparent altitude right so once you subtract the height of i correction from the minutes you get the apparent altitude now once you know the apparent altitude value you also have to remember it's the month of june and for sun it is the upper limb all right because upper limb corrections are different from lower limb corrections i'll just show it to you so the apparent altitude value is 38 degrees 24.6 you go into the same page from where you got your height of i value from and you see the column here is for sun on the extreme left the month of june will lie somewhere between april and september uh, it's upper limb correction so for 38 degrees 24.6 will lie somewhere here you don't need to do any interpolation the va correction value is minus 17 that's the upper limb correction the lower limb is in positive and the upper limb is negative so I'll zoom out again minus 17 is the value I'll go back and you can see that's the value I've taken minus 17 subtract it from the minutes not the degrees and what you get is the true altitude right we move on to the next example that is the example of a star although the star name is given here in this context it's not really important all right but this is a star the date is 17th of january 2004 the sextant altitude was 35 degrees 28 minutes height of i was 10.8 meters and the index error was nil so let's start with the solution you write down the sextant altitude as given to you in the question the index error was nil so it doesn't really apply so the observed altitude then becomes the same as the sextant altitude because there was no index error and then you need the height of i correction so the height of i is for 10.8 meters you know where to go you go back to the same page for 10.8 meters uh, let me erase the rest of the stuff so that we don't get confused and you can see the height of i correction if i zoom in for 10.8 meters somewhere here and the correction value is minus 5.8 okay so i'll zoom out go back apply the correction here minus 5.8 from the minutes not from the degrees the degrees remain unchanged you get the apparent altitude value of 35 degrees 22.2 minutes uh, now you need to find the total correction for a star all right so you go back to the same table 35 degrees 22.2 is the value you can see the middle column here is for stars apparent altitude values are given here this is the apparent altitude value so for 35 degrees and 22.2 let me zoom in zoom in zoom in somewhere here 
the correction should be minus 1.4 right no need of any interpolation i'll zoom out again go back put minus 1.4 here and that's it that gives me my true altitude of the star right the final example is that of a planet so we have to find the true altitude of planet venus for 18th of june 2004 here the date is very key i'll show you why the sextant altitude was given as 46 degrees 17 minutes the height of i was 7.9 meters and the index error is nil again so i start with the solution the sextant altitude as given in the question is written down as it is there is no index error so nothing happens here then there is the observed altitude which is 46 degrees 17 minutes dip or the height of eye correction is 7.9 meters we go back to the dip table for 7.9 meters and let me erase the rest of the stuff so that you guys don't get confused so if i zoom in here for 7.9 meters you can see it lies the 7.9 starts from here right so starts from here so i'll take this correction here although it's on the border 7.9 is on the upper border but it starts from here so i'll take this correction here minus 4.9 all right so i'll go back put minus 4.9 here subtract it from the minutes what i get is the apparent altitude as 46 degrees 12.1 the next thing i need is the total correction value for the planet so when it comes to total correction for planets especially for planets such as venus and mars that happens in two stages you need two values so let's get the first value the total correction value and then we'll get the second correction which is called the additional correction so the total correction will be based on the apparent altitude 46 degrees 12.1 and we go back to the same page 46 degrees 12.1 so you can see the planets are here as well so the planets is here same place as the star so for 46 degrees 12.1 if i can focus it's somewhere here the correction is minus 0 0.9 right and then i'll come out my apologies so i'll come out minus 0 0.9 is the first correction i apply so that's what i've done here it says minus 0 0.9 apply the correction and the apparent altitude again is what we get for the additional correction is 46 degrees 11.2 now for venus and depending on the month i need to apply an additional correction so if i go back here for 46 degrees and 11.2 you can see that if i zoom out further you can see when it comes to planets for the planet of venus and the planet of mars there are some additional corrections right now we are on the 18th of june and this lies somewhere here for venus right and for 46 degrees 11.2 the correction should be somewhere here 0.3 so this is the additional correction that you have to apply when it comes to certain planets such as venus and mars right so if i go back you will see i have applied plus 0.3 now you need to apply this to the minutes and get the final true altitude of the planet so this video shows you how to derive the true altitude or how to apply the necessary corrections to the sextant altitude uh, to get the true altitude of the sun, the star and the planets. There are similar corrections with minor differences. So make sure you go through this video multiple times to get a good understanding of the corrections that need to be applied. I'm happy to uh, receive any questions in the comments. Thank you. See